Now thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for watching this video and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. So the Azimio Lomoja Alliance leader, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, had scheduled his next anti-Ruto demonstration rally to be held or to be conducted in Mombasa County this coming Saturday on 25th of February 2023. But yesterday, according to the ODM party director of communications, Philip Itale, Raila Odinga was forced to quit or to cancel this rally, but instead he decided to take it to Western Region in Kakamega County, just to be specific. So in this video today, I'm just going to give you my proper critical analysis on the reasons as to why Raila Odinga made these final political decisions. So basically, we are going to talk about Raila Odinga's unsuccessful uh, meeting together with Ali Hassan Joe, Abdul Somad and Mombasa County leaders. We are also going to talk about the Azimio Lomoja Alliance elected leaders in Mombasa County defecting from Azimio. We are also going to talk about Raila Odinga's previous unsuccessful demonstrations across the country and the chaos and also finally we will talk about the divisions among the Azimio leaders from Mombasa County. But before we go into deeper details of this video, just in case you are here for the first time or maybe you are currently watching this and you haven't subscribed, I am just requesting you to kindly support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel and also please don't forget to press the notification bell so that each and every time I upload a video here, YouTube will automatically update you through the notification. To my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers and to my supporters, I also want to appreciate you so much guys for your continued support. So feel very much welcome on this channel ladies and gentlemen and I don't take your support for granted. Now let us go straight into our critical analysis for today without wasting much time and let us begin with Raila Odinga's unsuccessful meeting together with Mombasa County leaders. For the second time, Raila Odinga held a meeting together with the former Mombasa County Governor Ali Hassan Joho, together with the current Mombasa County uh, Governor uh, Abdul Somad and various Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders in Mombasa County. And I'm not going to talk about much on the situation that we know currently about Ali Hassan Joho, about his inactiveness in Raila Odinga's camp, about his inactiveness since Raila Odinga uh, lost the previous 2022 general election. This is the, actually the second time on, on, on Raila Odinga's meeting, unsuccessful meeting, they failed to agree. And the reason as to why Raila Odinga is very much keen on the former Mombasa County Governor Ali Hassan Joho is because, according to Raila Odinga's opinion, Ali Hassan Joho is still considered to be the kingpin of the larger coastal region because there is no uh, strongest polit politician in, in, in the larger coastal region than Ali Hassan Joho. So Ali Hassan Joho can organize, can mobilize the people of Mombasa County and turn that demonstration rally to become a very huge rally and a very successful one. Also, remember that uh, Ali Hassan Joho was on the forefront campaigning for Raila Odinga in the previous 2022 general election together with the Zona East member of the National Assembly, uh, Junette Mohammed. They conducted very successful uh, uh, campaigns for Raila Odinga, so he has that experience. But the reason as to why Raila Odinga failed uh, to, be, to, to agree in this meeting together with these leaders, there are various factors. Majority of the Mombasa County uh, leaders, elected leaders from Azimio Lomoja Alliance are not willing to, to participate in this demonstration and various factors. Now let us talk about the Mombasa County Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders who have already defect, defected from Azimio and they are currently supporting President William Samuel to a majority percentage of them have done that. So. In Raila Odinga's demonstration that you have been witnessing, if Raila Odinga will still go to Mombasa County to conduct this rally, it will turn to be an embarrassment for him because you will find out that majority of uh, the Azimio Lomoja Alliance who have already defected, they will still boycott this rally. And you will find a situation whereby Raila Odinga is Mombasa County without the leaders, the Azimio Lomoja Alliance elected leaders, in the same same rally, in the same same venue, that is actually an embarrassment to Raila Odinga. That is why Raila Odinga had to reschedule, had to quit, had to cancel that, meet, that meeting, even though it did not give us the exact date that he will conduct, he will still conduct that rally. And I don't know if he will uh, do that, because remember that the Mombasa County is one of the major strongholds 
of Raila Amolodinka. Therefore, he must do that because he has been campaigning all over the country in his main strongholds, first of all. That is why he rescheduled that event to be in Kakamega County in Western Region, one of his major strongholds. Now, let us talk about Raila Odinga's unsuccessful previous rallies across the country. In each and every demonstration rally that Raila Odinga has held so far, it turns out to be chaotic. It turns out to be unsuccessful. Majority of the leaders are boycotting. You know, and uh, you know, and uh, majority of the Asimilo Moja Alliance leaders are also going ahead further to issue a warning to Raila Odinga against holding this demonstration. Like, for example, in his previous demonstration rally in Kisi County, majority of the leaders there, including James Ongwai, even Simba Arati, first of all, was on the forefront, deciding or uh, trying to to boycott. That event, I did, and I don't know why. In the last meeting, in the last minute, uh, Simba Arati had to to accept to be in that rally because the reason as to why Raila Odinga had postponed that KC County meeting, first of all, it is because of these warnings, because of various reasons and the chaotic scenes that we saw that we have been seeing in Raila Odinga's demonstration rally, which is actually uh, letting down Raila Odinga, and also the divisions among the Azimio Domoja lands leaders in Mombasa County. Majority of the Azimio elected leaders are divided. They have shifted their, their support to William Samarud. And the reason as to why they are, they are split or they are divided is that they are telling, they are asking Ray Lodinga that for all this time we have been supporting you. For all of this time that we have been with you, voting for you massively, but there is no development project that you have initiated. Remember that President William Ruto has infiltrated Mombasa County with various development projects. First of all, let's talk about the, uh, the, 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 the Mombasa County Ports Authority, MPA. The management, William Ruto had to change the management of the Kenya Ports Authority in Mombasa County. Also, William Ruto had to shift the Mombasa uh, post authority from Malifasha here to Mombasa County. Therefore, William Ruto has encouraged or he has, uh, uh, you, you know, the, the moment he returned the ports to Mombasa County from Naivasha, the development or the, 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 the employment, the employment of the youths, uh, you know, majority of the youths are being employed there. So because of that issue, that is why the Mombasa County elected leaders from Azimio Lomoja Alliance side, they have shifted their focus to William Samaruta and they are willing to work with President William Samaruta so that he can initiate other various uh, development projects in Mombasa County. That was my analysis for today. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much to add on. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, my name is Jason, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and salute.